Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create web services using NetBeans in Java and how you can consume it using .NET. So guys, you can create web services in any language and you can consume it in any other language. So in this video, I'm going to show you Java to .NET creation will be done in java and consumption will be done in dotnet guys i have created separate video for uh, java to java and java to python i have given link in description box or you can click on i button and watch that so guys let's start the video so guys let's start the video so first of all i have started my netbeans id and guys here i will be creating one new web project so just go to this file menu and here we have option for new project select this and here select the option java web and from projects select the category as web application okay and click on next button guys and now here you need to provide the project name so whatever project name you want to provide you can provide here i'm giving project name as practical one and guys then we have a location where you want to save this project so you can browse wherever you want to save i'm keeping default and i'm keeping clicking on next button and now guys here it's showing me server and framework so i'm just keeping default and i'm clicking on next and finish button so guys you can see my project has been created here practical one my project and inside this we have a web pages right and now what i will be doing i will be creating what web service so just right click on your project name and click on web service okay so new web service and now here you need to give your web service name so i am giving my web service name as currency converter you can give any name i am giving this name because my aim is what i am going to convert indian rupees into dollar so hence i gave currency converter give the package name i have given package name as server and click on finish button so guys now you can see here i am just expanding this uh, you can see in web services folder uh, so guys you can see here web services folder has been created and here we have currency converted dot java file and here we have annotation at the red web service so that indicates this is a web service i'm deleting this default method and i'm adding new method so right click anywhere in your code and click on insert code and here select add web service operation now you need to provide your service name or operation name so whatever method you want to build you can give that name over here so i am giving inr to dollar as my operation name and then return type of this operation i am keeping as string because i want to return like inr this much inr is equal to this much dollar and parameter i am uh, taking because i need inr value so click on this add button give the parameter name and give the type and click on ok button so as you can see here the web method has been added this is a web method which is nothing but uh, which will be consumed by what client so annotation is at the rate web method and this is my method name do not change anything if you want anything to be added or if you forgot something to uh, pass to this method or parameter then you can create uh, again one more method do not change anything to this otherwise you won't be getting proper output now guys i'm just writing a proper body to this method so i'm just written code for converting inr to dollar and this is my code and simply i'm printing the indian rupees is this much dollar okay so whatever is the dollar amount just divide it by so my method is done now what we will do we will just deploy this method okay so for deploying you need to just go to what your project right click and deploy so you know guys when you deploy your project this is deployed on your web server okay so if you click on this services tab if you go to server you can see your uh, web services is deployed over there now let's test this web service so let's go to this web service folder just expand it and right click on your web service name and click on test web service so you are going to get this page so here you can see this is a tester page so uh, i'm getting one text box because i have passed one parameter and one button enter something and now you can see the output as you know web services input and output it is going to be in xml format so here you can see soap request and soap response 
so guys my web service is ready now i will be creating client for consuming this web service so guys web services creation is done now we will be creating client in .net so i have just started visual studio 2022 and here i have option create a new project so i am just selecting that you can use other version of visual studio also 2019 if you are having and now i am going to create console application so here simply i am just typing console and hitting enter button guys and you can see we have two option bb and c sharp so i am selecting console console application with c sharp and just double click on it guys and here it will ask you few details like your project name and the location all that thing so provide a proper project name i provided just a name and here i'm clicking a create button so guys now you can see my project has been created and here you can see in solution explorer it's showing me my project name and various directory and this is the code generated for my console application so guys now uh, here i will be adding the, uh, whdl path of my web services so just right click over here and go to the option add so before adding a whdl path i am adding one more reference sometime you get error so to avoid that error i am adding one more reference so just click on add reference and here you have to select this reference okay uh, service model just select it check mark it and click on ok button guys so this is optional i think if you don't add then also it works but sometime it uh, creates problem hence i have added now i'm adding whdl path so again right click add add service reference and now here you have to paste the path of whdl so you can get the path uh, from your netbeans just uh, click here and you will get the path over here or if you have uh, if your services are running you can go to browser and you can click on whdl and you will get the path this path is very very important and make sure guys your netbean services are running it is already if it is not running then you are going to get error over here so here i have found one service running and i have not changed my uh, service name it is service reference one it's showing so you can see guys here it's showing me service reference one so now we need to import this service reference one what is this reference this reference is of the project uh, of web services okay so now here i will be writing using and this in space my project name which project name this dot net project name so whatever is your dot net project name write that and put dot and service reference one if you have changed name of your service reference you can provide that name and then guys you need to provide semicolon okay now come to this main method and guys here you have to create object of your web services so just go to your web services check what is name of your web services and after that suffix client you can see here i have taken my web services name currency converter and then client is coming okay and provide any name so i have just given object name as client and then equal to new currency converter parenthesis semicolon so object creation is done guys now my currency converter takes one parameter um, to convert INR to dollar so I have to accept that parameter from user so in C sharp console application I am just using read line and write line method for printing and for accepting the value so console dot write line enter the currency in INR okay so here this message I have printed to user and now whatever value user is entering that I'm going to store in some variable so here I'm creating variable of type double okay so double and then D equal to now whatever user enters on console that is going to be of type string but I want to cast it into double so here I am writing double dot parse and in bracket console dot read line so this read line is going to read whatever input you will provide and done guys now again I am writing console dot write line and here I will be calling my method because my method is returning value so I am using object of my web service that is client and dot and you can see guys here I am getting my method name right so I have got my method name just pass the 
parameter to this method so i have passed d and then semicolon okay so if everything is correct it will if you put dot intelligence will be shown so now method will be called and whatever is the return value it will be printed and after that i am writing console dot read line so uh, why i am writing this if i don't write this uh, my uh, uh, console will go out so so that it waits and then i can see my output so for that i am writing console dot read line okay so it will wait for me to provide some input then my console will come back so now here i am running my application guys and you can see my uh, output is coming away over here it is asking me some value i'm just providing the value and it is printing me my output so guys we have created web services in java and we have called that in dotnet okay so we can see the expected output guys so guys i hope by following my video you are able to get your expected output if you are facing any issue guys you can put in comment box and if really you like my video hit on like button guys and if you are new to channel and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel i share lots of content related to installation as well as i create tutorials also so guys uh, don't forget to hit um, bell icon also to receive notifications from my channel guys i'm sharing lots of pdf and notes that too freely on my telegram channel so i have given link of all my social media in description box you can follow me there also Thank you guys for watching my video till end. I'll see you in my next video. Till that guys take care. Bye bye and keep learning guys.